All right, ninth hole is probably the last one I'll film. It really does extend the length of playtime. Um, par four. Um, here we go again. We have one of these holes where the center line really doesn't go down the center of the fairway. So, but we'll deal with it. We either have to aim, or I could use another bounce back point. I got well four of them, but three now since he's on his B game. But remember that would be a 270 left 15 with a roll of 30. Now, what we're looking at here is all T. Uh, it'll, Tee shots in the fairway will roll five yards left for every 10 forward. So in this case, I would take only 10 yards. And so 10, 20, 30. I think I'll do that. I think I will go and take another bounce back point. <coughs> wow. Eating, eating them up fast. And this thing's going to be, what I say, 270... Left 10, 10, 20, 30, puts it right there, and it's 300 left, 25. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to have to bring it back to the center line for this shot. We're 25 over, so when we bring it back, we have to move back five yards. So now this is 145 to this pin. So I'm looking at 135 to 140, and I'll probably have to try to work the ball. This uh, should be a short iron. A four is 135, but it's a minus five, and I want to be a little farther here, I think. So we'll go with this, and of course, then now there's no roll. But 145, and I'll work at 5 left. No, I hit a knockdown. That's what I'll do. I hit a knockdown, because that would... Yep, yep. Knockdown, yeah, with a work in the ball, 5 left. Knockdown, work in the ball, 5 left. Uh, with a 9 iron. 65 is a 3. No, a 4 on his iron. That's his average. This is awesome. Um, so it's 140, right five. We won't take that. Well, or we'll, no, we won't take that. So 140 with a roll of zero. So that's going to put him right on the center line. I worked the ball, five left. Let's see if I get any adjustment to that. 65 again. On the iron is four. If we come up here, four is a plus five. It's plus five over, so it doesn't matter what. So plus five means five more to the left. And again, we have landed exactly on top of the pin for a potential hole out. Oh! He holds it out for an Eagle, two. That should put him back in the A game, but I have to roll that. So let's see what he ended up with. He had one, two, three bogeys, but one, two, and a double, and an eagle, three, four. So he should end up one under at thirty-five. Let's see, here we go: eight, eleven, fourteen, nineteen, twenty-three. 29, 32, oop, 34, so I've got something wrong here. Let's see what I did. Um, eight, eight, 11, 14, 19, 23, 32, 34. Well, maybe this thing isn't right. Maybe it's a par 35, let's see, 12, 15, 29, 32, 36, no. Let's see, two under, one over. Oh, I got a bogey. I got, this is a bogey, but it's not. It's a, it was a par five, and he parred it. So that, that explains it. So he's two under. So let's get rid of this square. 
Anyway, actually, it turns out to be a pretty good front nine, especially with that hole out on nine. So I'll uh, finish this up, maybe make a publish on Delphi, but uh, thanks. If you're watching, thanks for watching. And as always, if you see things I've done wrong or you have comments, I'm always open to it because I expect to learn as much from you guys that I hope you are learning by watching me play. Thanks, guys.